dozens of attendees, seven sessions, two days, and one conference, all focused on a matter that business people say they must keep tabs on to conduct business wisely. We're trying to make decisions on investing for growth. So do I buy that piece of equipment today or can I wait to next year? And that's, that's really where inflation plays a part in our particular business. Inflation impacts just about everything we do. It impacts the pricing we put forward on our products, uh, how we manage our balance sheet, uh, make our investments in cash. Um, pension funds are uh, closely tied to inflation rates, et cetera. So really, just about every facet of what companies need to do to run profitable, successful enterprises uh, is predicated on having a good understanding of what inflation is today and more importantly where it's likely to go. How can anyone not have an interest in inflation? I mean if you live in America you have to understand that that's a fact of life. Sure, it's a fact of life, but so are these. Millions of Americans remain unemployed. Wage growth has been pretty modest. Inflation is low. Why are all these business people and economists talking about inflation? Truth be told, one of the first lessons the Federal Reserve learned from the country's most recent crisis was that nobody had a clear understanding of the risks that had been building in the financial system. This lesson is a reminder that even in a period of calm, even with inflation relatively low and stable, the Cleveland Fed's laser focus on it is critical. Uh, it's very impor important for the Federal Reserve to maintain its, uh, keep its eye on inflation. Uh, we have the experience from the 1960s and 1970s uh, when that was not the case when for a variety of reasons inflation rose to very high levels. And it, there's always a problem that if you um, uh, sort of forget about inflation and focus on too much on other things, uh, we run the risk that inflation might rise to um, uh, undesirable levels. The Fed, economists and business people know that while they are investing time and effort to monitor inflation, not everyone is. As Americans continue to press on following the worst downturn since the Great Depression, many are still coming to terms with a new reality. I think that's what makes it really important to look at it today. Not waiting till we have the spike or the crisis, looking at it today, analyzing the factors that can impact it, that can change it, so that we don't reach that point as a global world and as a nation ourselves, so that we don't find ourselves in a situation where suddenly we're facing uh, either really high inflation or spiking inflation or very low inflation. When that happens, when inflation rises and falls markedly, it tends to command a larger, more captive audience than it might today. Consider the mood a few decades ago. Generally, people have kind of thought, forgot about inflation as an issue. I mean, if you go back, you know, into the 70s and the early 80s when inflation was raging, that was, that was like, that was on everyone's mind, top of mind. I think it's important, though, for people to remain focused on this. Very likely, inflation over the next five years is going to be a lot higher than inflation over the past five years. But it's not just sky-high inflation people hope to avoid. I think you have the risk of deflation almost. And so the idea that you ought to set uh, targets for inflation and try to keep it within those targets, I think, is, is a very important. Not only is there a concern about inflation being too high, there's a concern that inflation might be too low. The attention to inflation matters, um, particularly because inflation is a process that builds over time. It would be really unfortunate to have to deal with uh, rising and more volatile inflation. You have to have the research being done at a time when things are not the way you want them to be. This is the best time to be trying to learn as much as we can. 